I'm Dr. Timothy Holmes, one of the surgeons at Step Lively Foot and Ankle Centers. I'm going to discuss a little bit about the history of ankle joint implants and who would be an ideal candidate for ankle joint implant or total ankle replacement. Ankle implants have actually been around for roughly 30 years. Over the last 10 years, a lot of improvements have been made in design, overall outcomes, as well as the techniques. There are currently four approved total ankle implants in the United States. Your surgeon can assist you in determining which technique or implant is the best for you. Older types of implants were fixed to the end of the shin bone or tibia, as well as to the top portion of the foot or talus. This only allowed for range of motion in one direction. These implants take an enormous amount of repetitive forces and stress with daily activity. Think of your hip or knee, which are large joints. These distribute these stresses over a larger surface area. The ankle is a small joint, which means that these same stresses are being distributed over a smaller area. This can lead to early wear or fatigue of ankle joint implants. Treatments of ankle joint arthritis and pain consist of ankle fusions, ankle arthroscopy, and joint preservation techniques. These still play a role in ankle joint arthritis and pain. In the right candidates, ankle joint implants are an alternative to improve the quality of life and overall function of a patient. Although your surgeon or team of doctors can determine whether you're a possible candidate for ankle implant surgery, ideally, most patients are late middle age, of a moderate activity level, and generally healthy. We the surgeons at Step Lively Foot and Ankle Center want to thank you for your time and we hope you found this video informative.